Hi guys! This week's video is to answer a question I get asked a lot about working with Procreate. Over these past weeks, after I showed you all the Christmas poster I made for the city of Madrid, I've been receiving even more questions asking what app I use to create the illustration. Many of you were surprised that it was made in Procreate and you were also asking what kind of settings I used so it wouldn't look bad when printed on big formats and how to keep the resolution high for big scale print sizes like a billboard. By the way, let me know in the comments below what is your experience like when working with Procreate for client work. I always say this and I will repeat it again, Procreate is perfectly capable of letting you create professional artwork. It can be a book, an animation or even a big scale poster. You just need to know how to set it up. And today I'm going to show you with an example how to do it and share a bit of the story behind that illustration. A few months ago, around October last year, uh, the city of Madrid approached me to create the official illustration for Christmas 2020. Madrid has a very important place in my heart. I also met my husband there, so I had a very special connection with the project from the very beginning. Also, Madrid is one city that is always working with artists for events and special dates which is an amazing example for other cities to follow. The artwork had to be big enough to be displayed as posters around the city, printed and digital, and on the round columns with sizes up to a few meters high and one or two meters wide. My illustration was also to be animated and included in the video to then be displayed all over the city screens like the one in Callao. All the videos you see now are from the final artwork that was the main part of the campaign. The brief around the artwork changed throughout the process, but the main idea was around magic and hope. I prepared sketches of a few ideas that would go with the brief. These are rough sketches I presented as initial options, as I wanted to create a scene where the city and the people were the main protagonist. You can see there were many of them as I explored different ideas. But ultimately the client wanted something a bit different, a few changes were introduced to the brief, like for example adding masks to the characters to address the current situation. I like those initial drafts so much that I decided to finish a few of them for myself and to share them with you. This is my favorite one, it shows many landmarks and beautiful places. At the base of the architecture you can see a city symbol, the bear, ice skating along the other characters. I put a lot of attention to the details in the buildings and into creating a festive Christmas atmosphere and I really like it. I printed out this one to hang up in my studio. On top of the main illustration for the project, I made an illustrated map of all the events taking place around the city of Madrid during Christmas time. And also, I illustrated the characters for an augmented reality game, but that's a story for another time. Now, when it comes to setting up Procreate to create the artwork, I worked with a one-to-one -one scale and at 150 dpi, which as we all know is perfect for big size printing. The only downside, as you might know, is that Procreate will limit the number of layers you can use, in my case it was only 6 of them. For sure, when we have the next generation iPads, the more memory they have, more layers and sizes we will be able to use. I did a full video talking about my two iPads Pro and the capacity each one has in relation to the max resolution and layers you can use, uh, so be sure to check it out. So as you can see my illustration was printed on a big scale format, which was not a problem at all. 
I used Photoshop only to prepare the files for the client, because the files needed to be in Photoshop high-resolution format. Everything apart from that was done with Procreate, from the sketch to the final artwork. In a few months I will be participating in an expo in the Netherlands called Illustrada, where four of my illustrations will be printed on big scale sizes one more time. All of which were made exclusively with Procreate. Thank you guys so much for watching and I see you next time. Fabuloso.